joining us here all the way from the okay, la, not all the way la, but the embassy of Spain here in Singapore. He is the economic and the commercial counselor, Antonio Garcia Rebollar. Did I say that right? Yes, perfect. I, I thank try. you. I that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I know it's not easy. But and it thank sounds you very much. so good beautiful it when does. you say it. I love your accent. Well, welcome to the show, Antonio. And Muchas gracias. Uh, <laughs> Muchas gracias. Oh, you see that? It just sounds magical when he says it, right, guys? Love yeah. the accent. Yes. Well <laughs> <laughs> so we are here to talk about, you know, just Spain's love affair with gastronomy. Also about this new certification that you would talk a little bit more about for the restaurants, the Spanish restaurants here in Singapore. But let's, you know, start off first by really revisiting uh, the importance of food in Spanish culture and also historically, right? The influence of Spain uh, that Spain has had on food culture around the world. What can you share about that, Antonio? Well, yes, we are a very old country. We have we uh, have the Roman heritage, mm. and from there, you can find the some good products like uh, wine of olive oil. You know that mm. the the, ori the origin is uh, at that time, so oh. the Roman time. Mm. And then we were very lucky to to have uh, very good friends and very good colonies in <laughs> Latin America. <laughs> yes, mm. yes. So for many years, for hundreds of years, and even in Asia for the Philippines, that's no? right. yeah. that uh, was part of Spain during 300 years. No? And we could learn a lot about uh, new ingredients, uh, about new recipes mm. uh, from all these countries. And uh, well, our culture is, is composed of all these Roman, Latin American, and then the European uh, neighbors. No? It is just so rich, you know, all these different elements within. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, now um, uh, Spain has been uh, become a real gastronomic destination. I think yeah. many people will remember not too long ago, El Bui was the number one restaurant in the world just outside uh, Barcelona. I remember uh, wanting to go there, but obviously never being able to get a table <laughs> at this place. Uh, but now there's, um, you know, how many Michelin starred restaurants are there in Spain? And why do you think there's that many in in the country, well, I think it's a it's a, it's a matter of hest, uh, heritage, no? and uh, it's also in the um, the appetite of the Spanish people for for good food in general. No? And it's true that uh, some of the um, we have some of the cities in Spain, like San Sebastian, mm -hmm. they have the highest number of uh, Michelin restaurants wow. per capita in the world. Wow. Wow. wow! And I don't know exactly now the the number, but more than hundreds. Wow. In just hundreds. San Sebastian alone? No, no, in in all over Spain. Okay. Over wow. Spain. A vet is really bragging rights right there. We're going to find out more about Spanish food, cuisine, and culture. Join us on our Facebook Live at facebook.com slash 1FM913. And it might win you an amazing prize. We'll tell you more about that. Join us on Facebook. One FM. Hey everyone, a very, very good morning. We welcome into our studio the economic as well as the commercial counselor from the Embassy of Spain here in Singapore, Antonio Garcia Reboyar. Uh, as we're on Facebook, do chime in because there's going to be a chance for you to win a cool prize from world class dermophila facial Univa. It's worth $299. Okay, got Ooh. any questions about Spanish cuisine, about Spain? Uh, come and chat with us this morning with uh, Mr. Antonio Garcia. Uh, can you tell us why? Why there's so much more to Spanish cuisine than we know about? You know, what are three things you want people to know about Spanish cuisine? Well, first of all, there is a lot of diversity. Mm. Spain is very different from north to south, from east to west. Yeah. And then you can find um, very typical places. Uh, uh, this is like uh, paella in the east. Yeah. But Ooh, uh, you can paella. also have uh, beautiful beef and fish in oh. the, and seafood in the north. Mm. And uh, very good combinations of uh, olive oil and and um, vegetables in the south. Right. And in Madrid, you can find a fusion of all <laughs> of all those a uh, bit of varieties. Everything. So I think it's very difficult to understand that uh, 
the variety the varieties there. Yeah. True. I guess the best way is to just eat your way through Spain. <laughs> you know? Spend uh, two months. You think two months could, could help us to try everything there is? Uh, <laughs> three months better. Three months better. <laughs> three months. <laughs> I think I spent too much time eating chocolate and churros. <laughs> oh, oh, chocolate and churros. Nice, yeah. Every day I had to have a cup of hot chocolate with churros. Oh, wow. In the morning. Oh. Yeah, in the morning. Because yeah. they had it breakfast. at like Dunkin' Donuts. They would have it at the cafe. Yes, I looked like a bowling ball by the time I was done <laughs> in my two weeks in Spain. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. that sounds delicious. I think it's, it's worth so every good. calorie. Yeah, hey, I would join you if I were there. <laughs> you, you know what delicious. I love? I love about um, you know s- the way Spanish people eat. It's it's actually the way I love to eat, which is you have you have your late lunch. Mm. Uh, obviously, the 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 old days of siesta. I'm not so sure it's as prevalent as it used to be. And then you have a late dinner. Late, late dinner. Wait, I yeah, mean, how late? Like ten. Nine, ten, ten, right? Ten. Nine, yeah, nine thirty, ten. Yeah. yeah. I love, I love that. That's and you, perfect. And, and then, and then the night begins. Yeah. And then you see that. the families right. out restaurants with the young kids. You know, even though yeah. it's a school night, you know, the families are taking time very leisurely just to hang out, uh, spend time with the loved ones, get to know people. And I like the bar hopping with the tapas as well. Oh. <laughs> it's it's so nice tapas. to walk into uh, to a bar in in Spain um, and. The, the, the tapas is laid out or, and sometimes some places you can have it for free you have a, yeah. I just have an aperitifo what? with it or whatever yeah it's it's you a really drink. communal oh. something very communal about the way S- Spaniards eat well it is it is like that I mean we take a lot of time to for lunch and for dinner sometimes for lunch we take about two hours oh two and a half I love hours. it <laughs> And then siesta. Oh, din- and then siesta. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, important. Yeah, siesta. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the siesta. Wait, even. hang on. Antonio, you're saying two hours just for eating. Yeah. And then on top of that, you have like what? An hour more for for, oh, s- for no, a nap? For siesta, just 20 minutes or 20 half an minutes. hour. You need a power nap after yes, all that yeah. food, Hey, right? but two and a half hours, <laughs> I think I need to, to move <laughs> do, to Spain. <laughs> do officers give that two hours? Quite Is that quite normal? For it's for quite normal, yeah. Oh, oh. but here's my it's other question. So it's, it's wonderful. I mean, I'm imagining the picture, you know, late night dinners. Everyone is out. The kids are out. So what time does the day start the next day? I mean, especially for the young ones, like school mm, and nine, all that. 9 a.m.? What? Yeah, usually 9 a.m. How, how yeah. do you get I enough will go sleep? to bed to 12. Around what? 12 yeah. They That's really okay. have it worked it. out. You know, yeah. work life balance. It's all about life. Ooh. You know, work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and the food plays such okay. an important part of it, right? That just, it's it such is. an important part of the yeah, culture. Yeah. yeah. I can see why, you know, the Spaniards are so passionate about their food because it's a whole culture that surrounds right. it for their day to day. And I can see why other people, non Spaniards, are jumping on board. <laughs> yes. You can also try here in Singapore. I don't think my boss would like it if I come in at nine for the show. <laughs> <laughs> but you have you can do some bar hopping, for example, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, because you have point. many different bars, mm. and we also have some uh, tapas bar in like uh, tapas twenty four in Robertson yes. Key or tapas club. Right. No, yeah. says, I mean, talking of that, h- how many? You know, there's so much. To, uh, there's so many Spanish restaurants here now in Singapore. Tapas has become so ingrained. In fact, other re- other cuisines are now doing the small plates. They call it tapas style. It's oh. very clear that tapas kind of resonates, doesn't it, in the, in the F&B industry here? Yeah, because I think it's very interesting. It's the premium for the quality mm-hmm. and not so much the quantity, no? Good when point. Yeah. For lunch, so yeah. Mm. That is so true. better to eat uh, little and good, no? That much and. I wonder <laughs> if the yeah. idea came from dim sum. You know, when you go for yes. dim sum, it's also it's similar, small little portions, culture. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So who culture. gave who the idea, yeah, right? Because exactly. you know, the Spaniards they traveled around the world. You know, yes. bringing their food. Bringing, they mm. obviously took some influences that made sense to them from other mm-hmm. countries and, and cultures. Yeah, we receive a lot of influence from uh, yeah. China in the Middle oh. Ages, yeah. in 14th century, 15th century as well. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it also allows you, I guess tapas also allows you to try a lot of different things as well, right? That's part of the beauty of it. Yes. Well, once you have tapas, you can fa- you can try many different mm. ingredients, no? Like uh, fish, meat, or vegetables. Mm. You can mix it with olive oil, of course. Yeah. Have a little bit of everything. I loved it. Yeah, by the and time I was done with my bar route, I was full. Didn't need to eat it <laughs> <laughs> and always with some uh, beer or wine. Wine, yes. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. What's what's your favorite? What's your favorite tapas, actually, Antonio? Yeah. What do you like? My favorite tapas, I think, it should be with uh, pork meat. 
Ooh. with chorizo, chorizo. jamón, jamón. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and yeah. the Iberico I pigs. Think, yeah, yes, hello. Let's talk about those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, those pigs are mm, my favorite pigs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna jump back on air. Remember, you can always still chime on in with your questions or even your comments, and it might win you that amazing prize from Uniba. So join us on air right now as we head back. That's a great one from Natasha Bedingfield. It is unwritten here on the bright side. Good morning to you. And we are joined in the studio with Antonio. I want to really say, I want to roll my R's really, really well. Antonio Garcia Reboyar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Am I Good getting morning. closer to it? Am I getting closer to the you correct did, way? You did it perfect. You are such a sweetheart. So <laughs> kind. I think I'm quite far from <laughs> <laughs> The economic and commercial counselor of the Embassy of Spain here in Singapore. I just quickly want to know, how long have you been in Singapore? Two years already. Oh, yeah. I arrived in September 21. Ah. I find it a very nice. Very nice city. Beautiful city. Modern city, perfect city, clean city. Hey, <laughs> but we need to do Very something more about city. the late nights, right? Mm. And the afternoon siestas. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Espe especially uh, with the second one. <laughs> <laughs> no power naps for you. Oh no. <laughs> So we're actually here to talk about, earlier on off air, we we're talking about Spanish restaurants and, you know, what you think about the Spanish cuisine here in Singapore. We actually had a comment coming through on Facebook from Candida. She says, it is her dream to meet Ferran, Adria and dine in El Bulli, but a loss, you know. It's, it's closed. Be, yes, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but what do you think about the food scene or Spanish culture here in Singapore? Are we doing enough? Can we do more? Well, Singapore is a food heaven. And you have uh, wonderful local restaurants and also very, very good international restaurants. Mm. And in the case of Spanish restaurants, we have a lot, more than 20. Oy. And uh, we have a certification system. Okay. Mm. So we check. I mean, not at the embassy. They what? check in Spain, in Madrid. And oh, wow. Uh, oh, committee, wow. Some experts committee. They check about the authenticity of the recipes, the ingredients, wow. the, ah. the uh, chef, the chef profile. Oh my gosh. And we have certified already 16. <gasps> That's amazing. So when you eat at 16 of these Spanish restaurants in Singapore, you're getting authentic food. Yes, you Quality can be sure food. that it's authentic. Wow. That's, that's really good because you're also, that's protecting. the. You, you don't want someone to say, oh, this is Spanish food. And actually they're misrepresenting. Your cuisine. Yes, yeah. That's yeah. That's the, that's, that's a really that's good a reason. That's like the purpose of the system. When we go overseas, sometimes we find something called Singapore noodles, and everyone's like, "What is that's Singapore it. noodles?" Yeah, yeah, we don't even have Singapore noodles <laughs> in Singapore. Yeah, okay. it's great that you guys are doing that. So yeah. this is known as the uh, ICEX. Is that pronounced the correct? Yes. The certification, right? And when did this whole thing come about? I think it's a brilliant idea. Well, we started just uh, one year ago. Okay. okay. It's not only Singapore; it's all over the world. So right, right, right. So but Singapore was one of the the first of few the, the first, to implement yes. it so how does it happen for a, a spanish restaurant that wants to set up shop here in singapore they have to get in contact for this certification and it comes from spain like you say and then yeah. it's a very rigorous process where they scrutinize every little bit yeah the committee has a meeting every three months oh wow and the restaurant just need to apply uh, okay. online and to send all the documentation wow so uh, they don't send you antonio to go to these restaurants no. to try the food out and then <laughs> you get your recommendations. That's, that's what I wanted to. <laughs> but that's ah. why he to signed send up for me it. Me to me. But yes, <laughs> the inspector general of Spanish restaurants. But what unfortunately, a gig. <laughs> so <laughs> some of these restaurants I'm looking online, they are Olivia, Tapas 24, Tapas Club, is that correct? Next door, Spanish Cafe, Ooh. FOC Sentosa, Binomio. Yeah, yeah, that's a good place. Uh, Asador as well. Oh, very good. And Una. Yeah. Oh. Una, you also have a guide. Okay. G -A -I -G. Wow. Yeah. So 16 of the 20 Spanish restaurants we probably have here in Singapore have been certified. So we know we're getting authentic, you know, dishes and the cuisine as well. We're going to jump back onto uh, Facebook Live. Head on over to 1FM, uh, facebook.com, such 1FM913, and talk more. I think Singaporeans have quite a love affair with Spanish cuisine. We'll talk more about that with Antonio. The 
Hey everybody, welcome back. Ooh, diving even deeper with uh, now the Singaporean love affair with Spanish food. I mean, my first, uh, the first time I had Spanish food was actually here and it was at a really lovely tapas restaurant and it was just fun. That whole idea, mm. like you said, Shazat, you know, trying everything like you mentioned, Antonio, and just being able to share, you know, with your friends there, some good sangria. Oh, I want more of that for sure. Uh, how big is the agro food, uh, agricultural industry in Spain, and uh, what which, which products you know is Spain the number one in the world for? Well, the agro food uh, industry is among the top ten in the world Oy. in general. Okay, mm. but we have some particular products in which we are number one. Mm. Ah. Which is brag olive oil. oil. Olive oil. I know. Sure. Do I get sure. a prize? Yeah, I right. am surprised. Uh, <laughs> I am surprised. Yeah. Okay. But also, I mean, we are not. Uh, some years we are also number one in wine. <gasps> in wine Spanish production. wine. Oh, oh. oh, oh my goodness! I, I just feel a lot of pride as you speak about this, and I'm sure that's the same kind of pride that every Spaniard has. You know, with hitting number one, I mean, that's not easy. You know, you've got countries with long heritage mm. with wine yeah. and olive oil, <laughs> Italy, France. I tried to bring some olives back, right? What? And they were the ones, <laughs> at, at, but there was like some liquid, the olive oil was in it, and then they were at the, uh, the brine, immigration. Is it? Yeah, they oh. were like, no, you can't because it's got liquid. And I was oh. so upset. Oh. Drink the brine, bring the olives I was back. so tempted. Whoa. Like, I don't guys, know really, that. can I just Toss this liquid. So you out. tossed it. You tossed all the things. I had to. Oh. They wouldn't let me bring it back. Oh. Yeah. Or you yeah. tell the officers, you have it. Don't waste it. <laughs> don't, don't waste the My good stuff. My heart broke that day. Oh, no. <laughs> but also we have uh, beer. <gasps> really? Very few people know. We are number two in Spanish. Europe in beer. What brands? Are cervezas. Are we really cervezas. Loves good old cervezas. Ah, yes. okay. Do you know Estrella Galicia? It's mm. quite popular Estrella. in Singapore right yes. now. Oh, Estrella. Yes. Okay, oh. okay. Is that your favorite? It is. I knew yeah. it. There's a look into you. Know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I drink. The rest drink everything else. <laughs> oh. And what do you like to have that beer with, Antonio? Chorizo. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Jamon. Jamon as well. Yeah. I want to hang out with Antonio. Jamon is the most popular one. I want to hang out with Antonio with that beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamon. Yeah. Yeah. Chorizo. And uh, what are some products that Spain is actually exporting into Singapore? Well, we export a lot of industrial products, ah. equ equipment, goods uh, for aeroplanes, trains, and really? manufacturing, chemicals. Mm. Wow. But uh, we also export some uh, agro-food okay. products, you know, like olive oil, olive oil, like uh, wine, some beer, some mineral water as well. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oy. We have two brands, Solan de Cabras. And Bichi Catalan. Okay. They are very nice. Mineral water. Am I right in saying, Antonio, right now, like olive oil, is the price is skyrocketing yes, because it is. because there's a the, the olives. There's some because of the, the the weather climate, the climate change that we're having at the moment oh. has has sort of caused a shortage in olives. Am I right in saying, saying something like that? It is. It is. It is correct. This year is uh, there is a shortage. Was so El Nino. So the price usually is uh, four or five uh, euros a liter. Right. And this year is reaching six. Seven. Oh wow. dear. Okay. Wow. So. You sparingly. <laughs> yes. Oh, yo, mm. But when you have good olive oil. But Spanish food, you really got to douse it in the yeah. olive oil. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, especially that's when it's a, good olive oil. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I think it's worth. It's worth every price increase when you have yeah good olive oil. But, yes. uh, but also, I, I believe, like, with, with olive oil, um, they're very, very particular about virgin, extra virgin. I think in Spain as well, you take a lot of pride in knowing this is the best quality olive oil and you, you, you rank it, you rate it, right? Wow. They're very we careful rate it, about it. Yeah, there are different categories and... Uh, and uh, you have to uh, to uh, fill all the requests by the authorities to be able to label with some of these categories. Mm. So the number one is the extra virgin oil. Right. Okay. That okay. is like uh, olive mm, juice. Mm. <laughs> It's just olive juice. And yes. It has no process. Right. Yes. Just but pure. But yeah. What's really interesting, I, I know in Spain, at home, everyone, you know, a lot of people produce their own really? olive oil. Like it's very common to in Spain, in Greece, they they love you know if they live near an olive thing, they they, they make their own, and everyone's very proud of their own little yeah. batch, right? How do you make yeah, your own? Like wow. Just 
just like a fruit juice. I mean, olive juice. Take out the pith and then go for it. Wow, hey, that's dedication. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, the, hearing all these little things, I can really understand and feel the passion that every Spaniard has towards food and gastronomy. So, I'm not surprised why you guys have so many Michelin stars, you know, per capita uh, in Spain. Yeah, we definitely want to head back on air in just a bit. Uh, and we're also going to ask you, Antonio, if you could recommend for us, you know, how we can actually explore Spain gastronomically. I know we stated that you need at least three months to, <laughs> yeah. to get through all that but, goodness. No, but <laughs> anyway, here in Singapore, you have many very good uh, chances to try very oh. good quality Spanish food. Mm. Okay. And especially this month, October and November. What's going uh, on? We have his, the National Day on ah, October 12th. Okay. Oh, and on occasion soon. of the National Day, Day, many restaurants are launching special events. Right. Ah. Ah. Ooh, and that uh, is very we cool. We put all these events under a campaign called Eat Spain, Drink Spain. I like <laughs> that. <laughs> I can jump on board for that. We're where will you be? <laughs> oh, we're going to come on air and find out where he will be and hear about this Eat Spain, Drink Spain. I love it. Let's tell everybody on air on 1FM 91.3. Come and join us, guys. Ooh, Simply Red with Fairground here on the Bright Side. Good morning to you. And we just realized there's going to be quite a fairground happening soon, October 12th, because it is Spain's National Day. Yes. Very, very soon. And uh, something really special is going on for the restaurants here in Singapore, like you were pointing out to us on our Facebook Live, Antonio. Tell us more about that. Well, we are starting next uh, Thursday. That is uh, October 12th, mm -hmm. the National Day in Tapas 24. We have a special party for Spanish people and for uh, all the guests. Hey. We're going to be your so, guests, right? Okay. Yes, yeah. Of <laughs> yes, of course, he says. He said it without uh, skipping a yeah, heartbeat, so you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. The invitation is... Hey, yes. it's... It's for us, right? There's a, there's a little bit of winking going on here. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. But then you also have some special event like uh, the one in guides. I like it very much because mm. it's a medie medieval menu. It's a menu from the Middle Ages. Oh, oh, wow. oh wow. Okay. So it's a special. They found a special book mm. of recipes from the Middle Ages in okay. Barcelona. From okay. Barcelona. And they are going to do this special menu on 24th and 25th. Oh, wow. it's very interesting I would as definitely well. want huh? to try that. I mean, you always be intriguing about, it's very intriguing about the history of food, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is all part of a great campaign that is called, I love the name of it, Eat Spain, Drink, drink Spain. Spain. I can get on with those <laughs> instructions <laughs> very well. Not only about uh, wine or olive oil, we also are promoting the vegetables, preserved vegetables. Ah. Coffee, Co mineral water, beer, etc. We Meat. talked about this, uh, you know, on our Facebook Live, and we were so surprised to learn, you know, some of the products that come out of Spain. You're actually number one. Can you share that again with us in the world? Uh, some of the surprises was olive oil, number one. I think uh, wine at some wine. yeah number one. You know, beating uh, established countries like France. Yes. Italy even and also a couple more you mentioned year, not every but year but yes, yes, um, other things that were like surprising to us pork meat mm. we are also among the top three in the world oh wow <laughs> now, nowadays you know the Iberico is very popular of course yeah, yeah. As well, so yeah. yeah the pork industry is very strong in Spain right why do you now? think they do so well in this industry in, uh, in this industry because uh, um, well, we have the breed, no, the Iberico mm -hmm. pig. Yeah. It's a special breed from Spain. And uh, they, they are living on the forest. I mean, they are not... Uh, oh. it's, a, it's an extensive, extensive uh, way of raising the pigs. Mm. And uh, we feed them with acorns. No? Not, so it's, it's very Ooh. organic, very yeah. natural. Mm. Organic diet. They have so siesta. So yes, yes. <laughs> they have, they have the right lifestyle. And then bar hopping uh, at night. Uh, all these party picks. Uh, party picks. Uh, that's you. There nice. you go. <laughs> Antonio's not denying it. That's what no, makes no, it not, so I'm delicious. Not, uh, <laughs> that's a good way to go, really, if you're a pig. It's a pretty good way. Yeah. Woo. And mm -hmm. uh, we wanted you to share with us, you know, your recommendations for one to explore Spain gastronomically. What can you say about that? Well, try to, uh, to to stay tuned in our webpage because in we have 
eh, prepare already 16 events oh, wow. in the next uh, eight weeks. Wow, over here in Singapore. In Singapore. Oh. So is the website we Eat Spain, Drink Spain? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, the website is Spain Drink Spain okay. and uh, in our LinkedIn uh, webpage and we have the help of uh, 12 uh, Singaporean suppliers okay. importers oh wow like uh, Pacific Beverages for the Estrella Galicia for the beer mm -hmm. or Alpha International for wines everyone's coming on board for the big party uh, yeah 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 ah. and 16 restaurants organizing events so you would really recommend if we get through those 16 restaurant uh, events right this is the website <laughs> we will become Espanol and speak Espanol of course yes. <laughs> yeah you <laughs> You speak already. You uh, habla español no. muy, muy bien. Muy bien, yeah. <laughs> but that's because of Money Heist. Uh. I love that show. Ah, I yeah, love me that too, show. me too, Amazing me too. Amazing high five. Another, another great export, by the way. <laughs> yes! But, but I'm, Antonio, <laughs> I'm going to go to Spain uh, actually in December. Ooh. I'm going to go to Granada. Ah. So, Ooh. any any recommendations for Andalusian ah. food? Or is that Andalusia? It's down south, I know, but I don't yes. know. If it's, so, anything that I should look out for to eat in Granada? Any specialty? Uh, in December, okay. But in Granada and in Andalusia, the um, the vegetables are fantastic. Okay, oh. and, they, uh, and they mix it always with uh, olive oil, of course. And uh, <laughs> so you have you must try the gazpacho. Gazpacho, gazpacho. is yeah usually it's for summertime. Yes, yeah. it's a bit, but bit cold for the cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> but you you have also the um, fried fish. Okay, yeah, seafood That's and down cool. there seafood is also yes. very, very okay. interesting one. Okay, cool. I look forward to that. And uh, let me know. I have some friends to, to go to. Oh, fantastic. Hey. Yeah, we'll talk after this. For sure. Sure. Well, I have some family show. there. So. Oh, really? Because oh. my father used to be from oh, Granada. Uh, Granada. Oh, oh, excellent. Oh. Okay, we will talk. I do believe this conversation will continue between yes. uh, Antonio and Shazad <laughs> off yes. air. Well, Antonio, thank you so much for joining us. And remember, everyone, check out the website, Eat Spain, Drink Spain, to find out about all these great events. And definitely get on board, explore Spain gastronomically. I think it's the best way to get to know a culture and oh, a yeah. country. So thank you once again for joining us here on The Bright Side. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Eh, oye, the way he says it, it's just melodic. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. <laughs> not bad, not bad, Carol. Not bad, not bad. Okay. <laughs> Good time. Greatest hit. 1FM 91.5.